Hey everyone, I'm Alice. Thanks for joining for this 25 minute powerful vinyasa flow. In this flow, we're gonna to work towards Bird of Paradise, which I'll offer some modifications as well to suit your needs. Now the movements of this flow are gonna be slow but powerful as we work into two of the biggest and most complex joints of the body, the hips and the shoulders. These two joints need to be both strong and mobile to support our developing asana practice. We're gonna cover a lot of ground here, so strap yourself in and enjoy. Begin at the back of your mat, kneeling down. And as you breathe, begin to move in response to that breath. So set yourself up here in the space. You can begin by closing your eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose and a big sigh out through the mouth. Watch the shoulders drop. Add a little bit of rhythm into your body with that breath. So you watch the curves of your spine. Feel the weight of the shoulders and the hips and the head that sits upon it all. Can you get rid of any tension that you're holding in your face or your fingers or your toes? Have fun in this next 20 minutes. A bit of a full body blast, bringing us into a few little cheeky arm balances if you want to go there. A few binds, some fast and some slow movement to fully wake yourself up or bring a little bit more energy into your day. And as you're here, I want you to inhale, circle the arms up over the head like you're doing a massive morning stretch. As you exhale, slide the hands forward and come into a regular child's pose just for one breath. Inhale here. Exhale, slide the hands back towards the knees and the shins and then circle the arms up over the head. Reach up towards the sky. Have a little arch in your spine. As you exhale, circle the arms down. Reach the hands forward again. This time, Anahatasana. So you slide the hands a little bit further forward. Lift your hips above the knees and drop your chest down towards the ground. Open your hands about as wide as the mat and gaze forward. One breath in. Exhale, slide the hands back towards the knees again. Sit on your heels. Scoop the arms up over the head. Another big breath in. Reach up. Exhale, circle the arms down. Slide your hands forward. This time we're going to go all the way onto our bellies. So snake yourself forward onto your belly. And once you're there, interlace your fingers behind you. Point your feet and squeeze the legs together. Squeeze the shoulders back and lift the head. Gaze slightly forward. As you squeeze your hands together, squeeze the shoulders back a little bit more. And can you lift your feet off the ground? Shalabhasana, a great one to get into the spine. One more breath in. Exhale, release the arms, slide your hands underneath your shoulders, push it back into that same child's pose, and then slide the hands back towards the knees. Final time, big breath in, reach the arms up over the head, take it all in. You're going to wish you came back to here later. Exhale, slide your hands forward, ripple yourself forward onto your belly, and we're going to take three big cobras. When we take a big cobra, you take your hands out about as wide as the mat, and you come up onto your fingertips. Point your feet and press the backs of your feet and your thighs into the ground so that you can lift your head, your chest, your shoulders, your belly, your ribs off the ground, gaze forward, squeeze your bum. Exhale, bend your elbows and ripple down. Just give me one more of those big cobras. I'm going to activate the back, the glutes, the thighs, inhale, lift up. So the posterior chain is really strong to open up the front of the body, give it some space, big breath in. Exhale, ripple down, slide your hands under your shoulders, tuck the toes, push yourself into a downward facing dog and begin to pedal out your heels one at a time. Spread your fingers out wide, it'll bend in the knees. You're gonna inhale, travel forward into, into high plank. Exhale, bend your knees, ripple back into downward facing dog. Give me those two more times. Inhale, take it forward. Now we don't have to move aggressively or too fast to get a power flow going. Exhale, ripple it back. One more time, inhale, take it forward. Exhale, ripple it back. I'm gonna teach you a snake through. 
So when you're in downward facing dog here, you're gonna bend your elbows like you're doing a press up. So elbows bend out wide about halfway down. Then wrap the forearms in towards one another. You wanna hug the elbows in. So essentially you're in a turbo dog where you're hovering your forearms and elbows just off the floor. A little pulsation here is always good so you can feel it. Now you're gonna sliver your chest forward through your forearms and your hands and wiggle up into an upward facing dog. Point your toes squeeze your bum exhale take it back downward facing dog give me one more snake through bend your elbows wrap your elbows in towards one another look forward sliver forward like a snake inhale upward facing dog squeeze your bum exhale take it back downward facing dogs a lot on the arms we want to find that control lift your right leg up point the right toes bend the knee and open your hips if you need to bend your supporting knee that's totally fine but try and squeeze that left heel a tiny bit closer towards the ground we're going to stir the right leg cross your right knee to your left elbow Slide your right knee to your right elbow and then circle it all the way back up, three-legged dog, twice more. I love doing things in three so you find the rhythm. So you can get your own sort of groove into it and grow from them. Last one, circle it round, stir it all the way back up. Step the right foot through between your hands and drop the left knee to the ground. Straight away, inhale, scoop the arms up over the head, Anjaniyasana, crescent moon. As you exhale, open the arms and twist to the right, cross the body. Sink a little bit here. Inhale, gather it back up through center. Exhale, open, twist to the left, open it up. Inhale, back up through center. As you exhale, twist again to the right and bring your right hand either to the base of your spine or crawl the right hand to the back of your left thigh. Keep the left arm now up over the head and we're in a slightly twisted back bend. Squeeze your bum, press down through the big toes and imagine someone's pulling you up by your left fingertips. As you exhale here, windmill the arms forward. We're gonna take it into a bit of a bind here. Both of your hands to the inside of your front leg. You're gonna keep your back knee on the floor and you're gonna crawl this right hand through to the outside of your right foot. Get your chest low, get your shoulder lower than your right thigh and knee. And I want you to plant your hands into the floor and hug your forearms in like you were doing that snake through once again, like you're doing a chaturanga. Now, once you're there, you're either gonna stay exactly as you are, maybe try bending the back knee and lift the left foot, the heel towards your bum. And you can just sort of practice lifting the foot up and down, pointing the foot or flexing the foot, whatever you feel is better. You can stay there and maybe try pulsing the elbows down and up as if you're doing a chaturanga. Mine shake a lot, so it's normal if they shake. Otherwise, we're gonna work a little bit more into a kundanyasana, which is an arm balance prep. Your right leg, is gonna balance just on top of the back of the right arm. So from a slight corner angle here, you can see right knee balances on top of the right tricep, back of the arm, and try and take your chaturanga down and up from there. So take as many of these as you can muster up right now, with or without the left heel towards the bum. Squeeze in, down, press up. Exhale down, inhale, press back up. Tuck the left toes, lift your right leg up into three-legged dog, point the toes. Exhale, step the right foot through between your hands once again. You're gonna scoop yourself all the way up into high lunge, press down the big toes, reach the arms up over the head. Exhale, bend your front knee a little bit more and twist to the right. You're gonna repeat the twist that you did down in Crescent Moon. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open twist. Let it out through the mouth whenever you need to. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, twist to the right, hold it there. Bring your right hand to the base of the spine or walk it down to the back of the left thigh, left arm up towards the sky. Press down the big toes and squeeze the bum. Exhale, really slowly bring yourself out into warrior two. Ground the back heel down, open the arms, and take some time here to kind of wiggle around a little bit, adjust the ribs and the hips. Straight away, you go into a bound reverse. Reach the right arm up over the head, hook your left arm around the back of you. 
Now the back of this left hand is gonna come to the outside of the right hip. Once you're there, straighten your front knee. If you need to adjust the back foot slightly, bring it in, that's totally fine. We're gonna take it into triangle pose, reach the right hand forward, and you're using the back of this left hand to push or direct the hips the opposite direction. Try not to lock into the knees, slight bend in them, reach the right hand forward. Now you're only gonna bring your hand about halfway down. Hold that there. Keep yourself there or bring the right hand behind the head. Push the head into the hand and encourage a very, very subtle, slight twist in the ribs and in the chest. So it's like this right rib cage is trying to pull fo forward a little bit more. Push the head into the hand, big breath in. Big breath out. One more, inhale. As you exhale, release the head and bring your right hand onto your right shin. Release your bind, pivot up onto your back tiptoe and bring your left hand also either onto your shin or both your hands to the ground now. Forward fold, back heel is off the ground, belly drops towards your thighs, walk your fingers a little bit further forward. One big breath in here to the back of your body, press down your big toes. As you exhale, keep your left hand on the floor, look forward and reach the right hand out in front of you. Keep the left hand where it is and you're gonna to start to twist the upper body towards the right. Reach the right arm eventually all the way up over the head, big breath in. Exhale, circle the right hand down towards the floor. You're gonna take a second round of that same move, reach the right hand forward. Exhale, reach the right hand up towards the sky, hold it there. Once you hold it there, bend your back knee and start to lower the left knee all the way down to the ground. Flex your right foot. You might want to slide the left hand back ever so slightly. Try and keep the fingertips on the floor. Continue to reach the right hand back. You're in a twisted Ardha Hanuman, a twisted half split. Keep the right foot flexed. You're going to keep coming back into this position on your inhales. As you exhale, circle the right arm forward and try and touch the toes out in front of you with your right hand. Inhale, circle the right arm again to the back of the room, find that twist. As you exhale, you can curve the spine, bring your right hand forward. Maybe every time you do this, you get just that little bit lower towards the front leg. Last one, inhale, reach it forward and back. Exhale, take it forward into that forward fold. Take a couple of breaths here. Walk the hands as far forward as you can do or walk them back if you need to. It's completely up to you where you're at right now. Keep the right foot flexed, spread the toes. Try and tilt the tailbone back a little bit more. One more breath. As you exhale, plant the right toes forward. And we're gonna take it into a slightly deeper bind right now. You walk your hands to the inside of your front leg, heel to the right foot slightly open to the right. Get your chest and your shoulders a little bit lower than your front leg. You can keep the back knee on the floor for the moment. You're gonna try and hook this right arm around your right thigh so the back of the hand comes up the back base of the spine. Eventually, maybe the left hand reaches for the right hand. If this isn't gonna to happen today, you forget it, don't worry about it, keep the left hand on the floor. Now try and lift the back knee off the ground. With or without that full bind, I want you to start to pulse forward and rock it back. Hips high, hips low. Now you might wanna stay where you are just a little bit longer. Anyone that wants to go for the bird of paradise, you bend the back knee and you start to spring your back foot forward to up towards the front of the mat. At this point, you can hold onto your bind still, or you can ditch the bind. And you can take your right hand either around your right shin or the peace fingers around the right big toe. So if you're gonna go for that bind, you probably know where you're going. You're gonna lift that right knee up, point the right toes to lead you up. If you're not taking that full bind, but you're going for the toes or the shin, flex the foot. Left hand will come onto your left hip if you're taking this variation and you kick the right heel out in front of you if you, are, if you have got the toe bind. If you've got the toe bind or you've got the shin, send your right leg out wide to the side. 
Exhale really slowly, bring yourself back down. Right foot drops to the floor with control or as much of it as you can. Those of you binding, let go of the bind and step your left foot back once again. You're in a lunge, chest forward, big breath in. Exhale, plant the left hand to the floor. You're either gonna take your left hand just as it is and go into side plank or take your toe bind. Hook the right pieced fingers around your right big toe and reach the right leg up towards the sky. Completely up to you if you take this toe bind or if you stack your legs, squeeze the legs together. Up to you. Now, wherever you are, we're gonna take it into wild thing. Drop the right foot back behind you, squeeze your bum, press the hips up towards the sky, big breath in. As you exhale, take the right hand down, find your high plank, big breath in, chaturanga, hug the elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push it back. Downward facing dog, optional snake through, bend your elbows, hug the forearms in, look forward, snake forward. Point the toes, squeeze your bum, lift. Exhale, tuck the toes, push it back. Downward facing dog, lift your left leg. Point the toes, bend the knee, open up the hips. Cross the left knee to your right elbow. Slide your left knee to your left elbow. Left leg all the way back up and around. And again, cross it, circle it, take it back. Last one, cross it, circle, and back. Step the left foot through between your hands, drop the right knee to the ground. Scoop the arms up over the head, big breath in, crescent moon. As you exhale, open the arms, twist to the left. Inhale, gather it back up through center. Open to the right, let it out through the mouth. And again, inhale up through center, take it to the left. And we're gonna go for that twist. Left hand goes to the base of the spine or crawl it to the back of the right thigh. Reach the right arm up towards the sky, big breath in. Exhale, windmill the arms forward, bring both of your hands to the inside of your front leg. You're gonna hook this left hand around to the outside of your left foot. And now you might wanna stay exactly as you are, hugging the elbows in, pulsing it up and down, maybe lift the back foot, keep the right knee on the floor though. Now if you wanna go for those kundinyasana preps, you hover your left knee and thigh just off the back of the left arm, gaze forward and start to take your chaturangas with the back knee on the floor. Exhale down, inhale back up. Couple more, exhale down, inhale back up, last one. Exhale down, inhale back up, tuck the right toes, lift the left leg up into three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot through between the hands, lift up, high lunge, scoop the arms up, press down the big toes. As you exhale, twist to the left, open the arms. Inhale, bring it up through center. Exhale, twist to the right, squeeze the bum, press down the big toes. And again, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left, we take the twist. Left hand to the base of the spine or the back of the right thigh, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. As you exhale here, we find our warrior two, ground the back heel down, wiggle the hips, the ribs, the shoulders, whatever it is that you need. As soon as you're ready, we go reverse bind. Flip the left palm up as you go back. You hook the right arm around the back of you. Back of the right hand presses up against the left side of the hip. So straighten up your front leg. Adjust the back foot if you need to. Slow trikonasana. So you're gonna see me from the back here. You reach the left hand forward. Your hips go in the opposite direction. You find that halfway point. You can stay there or bring your left hand behind the head. Push the head into the hand, squeeze your right shoulder back and find that slight twist. Hold that there, engage your thigh muscles, your glutes to the bone. One more breath in. Exhale, let go of the head, bring your left hand to your shin. Slowly unravel this right arm. And as you bring your right hand forward, you also pivot up onto your back tiptoe. This requires a lot of balance and control and focus and bring your right hand towards the floor. You can crawl the fingers a little bit further forward. As you breathe in, look forward towards the fingertips. 
up on the back tiptoe. Now reach the left hand forward, keep the right fingertips on the ground and we start to spiral. You twist the chest towards the left side of the room, circle the left arm all the way up and around. Exhale, left hand down one more time. Reach the left hand forward, big breath in. Hold it right at the top there, bend the back knee and lower the back knee down. Once the back knee is down, you can readjust your right hand, slide it back a little bit as you flex the left foot. Ada Hanuman twist. Now you're always gonna be here on your inhales. Breathe in here. As you exhale, curve the spine slightly, circle the left arm or left hand to tap the left toes. Inhale, circle it back. Twisted Ada Hanuman. Ada, Ada means half. Hanuman is your split. And again, exhale, take it forward. Inhale, take it all the way back. Last time, exhale, take it forward, hold it there. So you can go a bit further forward or you can bring yourself back up if you want to for your final couple of breaths in this forward fold. So this is a lot on that left hamstring. Keep the left foot flexed, spread the toes. One more breath in where you are. As you exhale, lower the left toes forward. We're gonna take it into our bird of paradise. We're gonna get ready for the bind. Your left arm is gonna hook underneath your left leg. So you're gonna get your shoulders low, get into the hips. You clamp your left arm around, the, around your left thigh and bring the back of the hand to the base of the spine. This may be where you wanna stay. Just try and lift the back knee if you can. If you do wanna go for the full bind, press down the big toes and your right hand will come up to your left hand. So wherever you are, you wanna give it a little rock forward and back. You could always stay here if you know that this is more your vibe or you start to spring your back foot forward towards the front foot. You either keep hold of your full bind or you decide to change it up. Shin or peace fingers around the left big toe. Lift yourself up, flex the left foot all the way up to standing. Right hand may come onto the right hip. <laughs> there are wobbles along the way and that's normal. If you're all the way up and you're not binding, open the left leg out to the side. Exhale, slowly bring yourself back to center and control yourself down. Now that descent takes a lot of focus. Lower the left foot down. Those of you binding, you can release your bind. Step your right foot behind you, back into your lunge, right leg back, left foot forward. We're gonna go for our side plank, right hand down. Slide onto the outer edge of your right foot. You can stack your feet, push the hips up, press the ground away. Or if you have a toe bind that you really wanna take, you can start to take your toe bind. Now you don't have to extend the leg up completely. You can always hold onto the knee or the shin, whatever works best for you. One more breath in where you are. Exhale, step the left foot behind you, wild thing. Squeeze your bum, press the hips up. One more breath in. Exhale, take the left hand down, find your high plank, squeeze the legs together, chest forward. Exhale, chaturanga, hug them in. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push it back. Downward facing dog, give me a snake through to finish. Bend your elbows slowly, hug the forearms in, turbo dog. Snake your chest forward, slither forward, upward facing dog, breathe in, squeeze your bum. Exhale, tuck the toes, push it back. Downward facing dog, drop the knees down. Take it into child's pose, turn the palms up. Big breath into the back of the body. Big breath out. And I'm gonna leave you here for about a minute just to get your breath back. We're done here. <laughs> so slow down your exhales. Notice the pace of your breath. The pace of the heart. And the texture of the skin if you got a little bit sweaty. Making these little changes. Take one more breath in where you are. As you exhale, start to slide your hands back up towards the knees and the shins. Place your hands on your heart, your belly, your thighs or palms together. You find the seat for a moment, head above your heart, heart above the hips. 
let anything out that you need to. Massive well done, holding or building that fire, but learning how to tame it. So thank you for joining me today. Namaste. Massive well done. Powering through that really quick, quick fire, bound, kundanyasana, bird of paradise, <laughs> melody. Thank you for joining. Please like, share, subscribe. It does wonders for me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.